Hello. Well, today's Thursday. Actually, what time is it? No, today's Friday, because it's after 12. So, today, this evening, we're going to the track. And uh, supposedly, my friend Bud is going to be there with the Mustang. And if you guys remember, I did a pair of cylinder heads last year. LS. And uh, I gave him a certain time, ET, that I told him the car would run. And he was happy with what I told him. And the number I told him was 1070s. Well, the car has not made it to 1070s yet. And yet Bud's very happy. And his brother Kenny, they've been nothing but supportive to me. And some guys would, would not be happy with that. They'd be thinking... Hey, you told me 1070s, and that's what I want. That car, as soon as it went in the 10s, they were very happy. So, all it is is a stock bottom end LS. And the car is around, I believe, 3,400 pounds. So, it's a pretty much full weight Mustang. And, uh... One of the things they've told me time and time again is that every time they've taken the car down, the air quality has been terrible. Uh, they took it down last week, and I was planning to go then, but I didn't make it. But the car uh, ran 1082 at, I believe, 125 and a quarter mile. So, Kenny got a hold of me, Bud's brother, and said that everyone he talked to down the track had told him that they were down about a tenth to a tenth and a half in their time slip. So, everybody was running a tenth or a tenth and a half slower than they normally run, which I would love to see that be the case. So... Your old friend Terry is going to the track, and hopefully we're going to have some better air. I think that may be the difference of getting this car to go 1070. But we're going to see. We'll see what happens, what kind of luck we have. Uh, one thing that happened last week, the, they told me the car shut off in the burnout and they really don't know why that happened so there might be something else fluky going on with maybe a fuel pump or an electrical box who knows so or it could have just been that it was that hot and maybe a vapor locked or something i don't know i wasn't there so for something just to die in the burnout stage that's never a good thing so something had to be off one way or another but regardless the car went 1082 and uh, guys I won't be happy till I see a 1070 out of that because you know why because I told him when I ported them heads that's what it would run so wish me luck and wish Bud luck because I'm going to try to do a video on this and uh I was just sitting here thinking about it and thought, you know, let me uh, bring this to your guys' attention. Because some of you fellows are new on the channel. Thank you. And some of you guys have been around forever with me. And you might have forgot. And then some of you guys are probably still waiting to see if the car pulls off the 1070. So, cross our fingers. I would say say a prayer, but prayers are for important things. Uh, this is a fun thing. So, uh, 
we'll pray for more serious things, right, fellas? <laughs> That's how I look at it. With that, thanks for your interest, and uh, keep watching. The next video should be at Acker Raceway. Take care, everybody. God bless you.